hello and, and welcome in this short tutorial I'm just going to show you how you can uh, get access to US topo for the project you're, you're working now uh, you may have a bitter topo you may have a flown topo and DEM files and many things but many times before we start a project when we don't have anything we just want uh, some kind of quad map uh, we we would like to have access to some quad maps many many of the consulting firms they have a whole library of those quad maps available but if you don't have that and you wanna either buy or download a PDF version and plot this is how you can do it all you need to do is go to the USGS website and where you can locate and download maps so just do a google search like usgs map locator and download and if i do that uh, here's the link and if you go to the link it, it you see it's the map locator and downloader it's at the top and what it says select and get your maps right over there and the maps are 7.5 and 15 minute maps most of the time and uh, select and get your maps click marker that pointer over here to see information bubble showing, uh, showing maps available and then either you can click order or download or maps to the download cart, cart over here okay now like I live in Bluefield Virginia so I just type in Bluefield Virginia there and hit OK and this window will, will come up and I, I see there are a whole bunch of one two three four different uh, bubbles over there I'm just gonna click uh, that's a right click if I do that this next window it came up and over here you have a buy from USG store you can do that so you, you would have to add it to your shopping cart or I can just download my my map like just say click on that and let's say save it as I'm just going to call it local maps and just save it and it it's a zip file and it will take just about a minute or so to download and once the download is completed you can uh, click kind of right over here and go to the folder I just do like show and folder command in here so if you see something like that, that means it's, it's still downloading and it's a 12.5 megabytes what I'm downloading right now now uh, while it's downloading you can uh, see that yeah here we go uh, it's been downloaded let's go there and take a look quick look okay so that zip file has been downloaded now so I'm just going to click on it and extract I'm just going to do extract here so here we go I have a map now a PDF file and it says West Virginia Bramwell Geo PDF and I can open it now okay so it's a file copy and you have a map for the Bramwell coordinate okay let's try downloading another of those uh, zip files and see what they are if you click on that again we downloaded this actually you can actually view all of these different maps so let's view the next one top uh, Let's see the very top one. 
look at the look kind of different this pro includes everything uh, and this is probably what you really want to download this is the US topographic map so let's try that it will take some some time again but we'll stick to that uh, let's click on it and try to get some more information what that is okay so these are just geologic maps but they have a uh, different kind this one is like the aerial photograph uh, it has got contours and, and topography in this file you have just contours this one contours and looks like some other information too um, so this is the, the same you, all of them got the contours uh, with some different presentation with some different features okay let's see it's still downloading let's go back to where we were okay let's click on it again uh, and and this also tells you the the year when the map was actually generated like this is a 1925 map this is 1962 map this one is 2001 map and this is the most recent one which is 2011 now if you are studying in an area where you want to see how the topography has changed like somebody built something or something happened so you can use these old maps and compare to the new maps and see what's the difference well let's go to our uh, latest file which would be our bigger file so that would be this one and let's open this to extract here and here we go that's the new file let's open it up wow it's got a whole bunch of different things okay it's like a PDF with the uh, you know aerial topography plus it has got the contour lines and and, and, and a lot of different things so that's really neat well there we go uh, now you know how to get a copy of uh, your USGS map and from where. Thank you very much for listening and if you have any questions just give me a call.